Hey guys, Bill here from North Coast Cigar Review, and I am back with another review for you. I know it's been a minute since I've done one of these. I apologize for that. Been a little bit busy, but it's a gorgeous day here in Cleveland. I want a cigar, you want a cigar, and it's always a great time to have a cigar. Uh, so we're going to get right to it. Today's a little bit different than my typical review. Uh, typically, we're going to we do a lot of reviews around new things on the market, requests that uh, subscribers have sent in. But today, I want to review my favorite everyday smoke, and that is the Drew Estate Nika Rustica. Really cool cigar, awesome build, great flavor profile, and super affordable. So stick around, stay tuned, get your cigar and kick back, and we're going to dig into the Nika, uh, Nika Rustica here, see what it has to offer. Stick around. All right there, ladies and gents, let's talk a little bit about the Nika Rustica from Drew Estate. Boom, right there. My everyday smoke of choice uh, for several different reasons. Uh, first of all, let's talk about length, ring gauge. We're talking six inches uh, in length. It's a 52 uh, uh, ring gauge on this. Uh, I call this a, a Toro, uh, but they call it the El Brujito. Love that name. The Drew Estate, the names of the cigars, they do their marketing. It's, it's great. El Brujito. Love it. Sounds like a gangster walking around the corner coming to get me. <laughs> but, um, as far as construction here, a couple things on this cigar that you see that you typically don't get at the price point, which I'm going to talk about in a second because it's one of the coolest things about this cigar. Uh, you get a hand-done pigtail cap on this. You also get a closed foot, if you can see that there, uh, pretty slick. You have a Connecticut broadleaf Maduro wrap on this. Their binder is Mexican San Andreas, which for me, one of my personal favorites, adds so much flavor. Uh, Nicaraguan long fill throughout this uh, Jalapa Esteli. Uh, so you got a real nice blend of different tobaccos here. Um, with that being said, there's not going to be a lot of variance and change with this cigar, right? This thing is a full flavor bomb from beginning to end, right? So if you like a full flavor, robust cigar, the Nico Rustica is going to be your cigar of choice. And here's the thing, guys, here's the thing that is absolutely phenomenal with this cigar. $6.99 retail. That's from a brick and mortar. So you could find this cigar online for much cheaper. But for an everyday smoke at seven bucks from your local cigar shop, can't beat that. You can't beat the quality you get in this cigar at that price point. So uh, real nice offering here from, uh, from Drew Estate. Again, my personal everyday uh, favorite smoke. Not a lot of uh, fanciness out of the band here. You guys know I love bands. Uh, just has the Nika Rustica uh, name on it. Uh, it kind of goes around, talks a little bit about where it's from, things like that. But, uh, you know, not super fancy. So it's a very, uh, very plain looking cigar. But it has a lot, a lot of benefit built into it because it's, it's made so well. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off this, get this thing toasted. We'll get it lit. I'll give you some impressions of what I think. Uh, you know how the game goes by now. I do this in thirds. Uh, so first, third, half, and then the, the end of the cigar, I'll kind of tell you my thoughts. Kick back, enjoy your smoke. I'm going to kick back, enjoy my smoke. And we'll go from there. Stick around. All right, guys. I just took the, uh, the pigtail cap off of this. I'm going to go ahead and get this... Uh, Toast it up. Now we do have this closed foot on here, so it's going to be a little bit different than normal. If I can get my lighter to fire up, the wind out here is crazy today. We'll get her toasted up. It looks like it's working. Now here's the thing about this cigar. You see it already, right? The foot smoke on the Nico Rustica. Love it. All right, this cigar is one of those cigars where if you want everybody to know that you're having a smoke, this is the one. And for me, I love that, right? So I don't want a ninja cigar. I don't want something where I light it, there's no foot smoke, whatever. You're getting the smoke from when you're drawn out, but that's it. That's not what this is. This thing has tons of foot smoke. I mean, just look at that. Love, love that feature. So initial impressions right off the bat. Super smooth. Like I said, this is a full flavor smoke beginning to end, so it's definitely going to have strength to it. 
but it's not a kick you in the throat kind of uh, full flavor, right? Where you got all this Ligero that's just burning, burning, burning. You're not, you're not getting that out of this. Uh, it is very smooth, but potent, um, which is another thing that I really kind of like about this cigar. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> just a real velvety smoke out of it. Um, you know, right off the bat, you get the leather. You're going to get that right out of there, uh, off the uh, Nicaraguan uh, uh, long fill in there. But that Mexican San Andreas uh, binder, you do get that right away. Um, that's one of the things I think that kind of drew me to this cigar. That leathery, earthy tone that you get out of the Mexican San Andreas. I just love that. Again, look at that foot smoke. Unbelievable, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to get through the first third of this, and I'll come back with my impressions. Hope you're enjoying your smoke. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, gentlemen, back about a third of the way in on the uh, Drew Estate Nico Rustica. I'll give you some quick impressions here. <clears throat> First of all, like I had said in the uh, the prior uh, segment there, flavor bomb beginning to end. So right off the bat, you get a lot of leather, you get a lot of earth. Um, it's just a very, very uh, Nicaraguan type of cigar. Uh, you know, you get that earthiness, that leather, that wood flavor, nuttiness out of it. Uh, very smooth, very consistent through the whole entire first third. Um, foot smoke calmed down a little bit on it, uh, you know, but that'll come back with my experience with this cigar. Uh, one thing I will tell you though, um, and this is kind of consistently happens with this cigar, um, and it's not even really a, a drawback on it, it's just something just to be careful of, ash integrity on this. You do, you do tend to lose your ash on it. So if you are uh, having this cigar and it's any wind at all out there, uh, be ready for one of those son of a moments where the ash is going to come down <laughs> on your shirt. So just be ready for that. Um, it's kind of a regular thing with this cigar. But overall, the burn's pretty good. You know, nothing, yeah, a little bit of wonkiness there, but nothing too bad. I haven't, haven't had to do any kind of maintenance, anything like that. Drawn like a champ. So overall, fantastic first third of this cigar, and there's the foot smoke, told you it would come right back. Uh, Nico Rustica, first third of the way through, beautiful. I'm going to kick back and uh, enjoy uh, some more of this. I'll be back at the halfway point, and then that final third to give you some final impressions. Stick around. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the Nico Rustica. I know I said I'd be back halfway through. You know what, man? It's just too good. I couldn't, uh, couldn't, couldn't stop, so uh, I'm here toward getting into that final third of the Nika Stika by Drew Estate. I'm going to wrap this up now because it's just a phenomenal cigar, guys. Beginning to end, consistent, strong, bold, just a beautiful cigar. Nice burn. I mean, a real nice burn the whole way through. Get a little bit of wonkiness there uh, just after that first third, but it corrected itself like a good cigar should. Uh, consistent draw through the whole thing. Got some good spice here in this final third, um, which I kind of knew would come uh, as we get uh, to that winding down point uh, uh, of the smoke itself. But overall, just a great smoke, guys. I mean, just absolutely phenomenal. Again, one of the best things about this cigar is the price point on it. Like I had said, my favorite go-to everyday smoke, Nico Rustica, $6.99 at your retailers. I'm sure you're going to find them cheaper on Cigar Bid or uh, any of your you know, Cigar Page, Cigars International, wherever you're looking at uh, as an online resource. So I'm sure you're going to find them there uh, a little bit cheaper. But at $6.99, 7 bucks, you can't beat that for this type of cigar. So overall rating on this cigar, 8 out of 10 uh, is, is going to be my uh, rating on this. Uh, just a great smoke, man. And the foot smoke's still going. It's still going. It just blows me away with this cigar. So, 8 out of 10, guys. Nico Rustica, Drew Estate. Check it out. Go out and get a few. Let me know if you like them. Uh, comment on the video if it's something you like. If you have any questions, just let me know. If there's ever a cigar that you want me to review, just comment on one of the videos. I get notifications for all those, and I'll do my best uh, to get out there, pick that cigar up, and review it for you. 
Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Stick around for the next video because I got something crazy coming in the next one. I'm going to be reviewing... <laughs> I have to laugh because this cigar is absolutely enormous. The Asylum uh, Medulla. I mean, look at this 80-gauge monster here. I got this as a gift for my uh, for my birthday. Just kind of been sitting in my humidor. I'm going to review this thing next time. That's going to be like a three-hour smoke. I mean, 80-gauge monster. So uh, stick around for that review. That'll be coming here in the next few weeks. Again, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Get out there, enjoy your cigars, and always remember, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, smoke them if you got them, guys. Take care.